Hello everyone, how are you doing? Great. This is Saidi Dubarak. Um, I'm here to share with you my beautiful experience that I had uh, the last couple of weeks. Um, so I have been working with myself for a very long time um, and like before a couple of months my full attention intention was to um, to focus on my inner child healing my and seeing the patterns that uh, always trying to show me themselves and uh, I was so ready uh, to heal this this part of me and uh, hear my little child uh, give them love and feel the love and feel peaceful and live my desires that I, I wish for and um, I attended with Eugenia Oliverti a beautiful webinar uh, called Three Secrets for Unleashing Your Desires. I think uh, I'm not quite sure about the name, but it's uh, uh, around that. Um, and a great, a massive shift happened to me after answering the three uh, questions right away. And uh, I had another call with Eugenia, um, uh, free call, uh, prayer the, uh, the, uh, the intensive. And I was telling her that I'm not sure if it's the right thing to, for me. I, I don't want to focus on relationship. I know that I have a lot of, uh, I had a lot of, uh, toxic relationships and uh, or maybe when I am by myself I feel great I feel light and I'm so amazing and the second I am outside I feel like oh my god a lot of triggers a lot of traumas a lot of patterns and things I don't know I didn't even know that is there so I so grateful that I had this call with Eugenia because she like explain to me that actually to to live my desires or live or having a, a great like um, relationship or live the story that I'm wishing for it's actually through loving myself um, so I attended the intensive and actually I am uh, so grateful that I did actually because I didn't listen to this wonder feelings. Um, I realized that it was me feeling, or inside of me, I know that there is a massive shift will happen, so that was a kind of resistance. So after attending the uh, intensive, I have like uh, a lot of a lot of change happened to my in my life, a lot of realization. Uh, now when I'm talking about myself, I can say that I am a sacred woman. I am like my body is a sacred temple. But I, I now I love my body parts. I feel my beauty. I can like, I'm connected with my desires and I can express them. I express myself more. I'm more authentic and um, I can set boundaries. Um, I speak my truth. I'm um, like every day during the intensive, uh, every day, not one realization and not one like shifts. No, all day. Like for the, for it's like for three weeks, the whole three weeks, every day I am a different person to myself. I am more close to myself. I feel the love that I desire to feel, I feel happy. Right now I feel happy, peaceful, uh, a lot of beautiful dreams, um, a lot of realization, and the beauty of all of this that I feel it, I sense it, I feel powerful, I feel free, I feel liberated. And these things I was desired to live. And I was struggling to, to, uh, to feel, you know. Um, 
and you know what during the intensive I realized that I have a lot of uh, uh, beliefs around pleasure women who receive pleasure about women themselves about myself about relationships about life about different like um, like um, part of my life I thought like the thing is my consciousness or my my mind or my thoughts is like not similar to my feelings so whenever I'm in, in situation or relation or any uh, or like in the world it, what happens is just those feelings just comes to the surface and I end up ended up like in this running inside of of a, a circle that it's um, finally I get out of it um, amazingly um, you know one of the thing uh, that I had um, that I'm always like uh, trying to I can't remember forget this idea that I was thinking of but it's fine um, you know one of the thing actually that I wasn't be able to speak in front of the camera this is was one of the challenge and um, I remember now so you know what's the most beauty of this experience that I could share my vulnerability I know I didn't pronounce it right I was like have a hard time to say it so um, I was like expressing myself in in when and I felt it's not comfortable for me in a very safe place with a very beautiful soul with supportive like woman woman and uh, supporter uh, of Eugenia and this is a beauty of it because I could share the thing that I wish to share um, in a very safe place, in a very loving place, supportive place, with people who just we share things together. Some some things we share the same, some things we share different, but we all together we became like like more realization came to me, more um, understanding aspect of life, you know. Um, Today I can say I am like living in in a peace. Uh, I am living in a very loving place, and um, I'm more commu communicative. I'm more expressive, and you know what? The most important part of all of that that I feel it. I feel my beauty. I feel myself. I'm more confident about it and and like I, I show up for myself and this is the way to to reach the light that I, I wish and desire is actually to go through the, the darkness I'm so grateful for this experience I'm so happy that I did it and I show up every day for myself challenging and uh, and, and realizing and you know a lot of fears that it was there a lot of resistance was there there it wasn't easy but you know what's beauty of it is in a very short time <laughs> and there is a transformation afterwards it's magical it's amazing I am so grateful right now for all what I had if you have if you feel the call to uh, attend this intensive um, I recommend that you um, um, like uh, at least uh, have a call you know with Eugenia and um, and see if, if it's resonating with you or not uh, because this is what happened with me I was feeling that no this is not what I want that, that this is not the time for anything else but my inner 
love and inner child healing. I want to be there for myself. And this is exactly what happened. Um, if you feel uh, called, if you feel um, uh, like struggling of uh, reaching your desires or of your communication, living the love that you want or you wish for, uh, if you feel like a uh, hard time in setting boundaries, if, uh, if there is a lot of emotions and, um, and the patterns where you, you don't know where it comes from and you need a lot more clarity on this area, this is the place, this is the time. I mean, this is the safest place loving place supportive place um that i recommend you um from my own experience to um uh, to just do it um or just to have a call and see if it's resonating with you and your and your heart and soul will tell you of course if it's uh if it's um uh, the right thing for you um i wish you all um uh, a great life and um uh, to live that your desire and um the life you're wishing for um take care